Hello everyone, this is Iman here from WVN.com. As you can see, this is our WP OpenOffice product slider plugin, and this is the premium version of this plugin. This is the premium version. The premium version comes with some exclusive advanced feature and uh, today I just released a new update for this premium version so in this new update I added some new features and so in this video I'm going to focus on the new features of this update so I just added a four new different theme for this slider which will show the slider in four different style now we have total six different theme for the slider uh, so I also add a new shortcut builder which come with couple of new interesting features uh, let me show you some new features of the shortcut builder so this is the shortcut new shortcut builder as you can see I already added some new short uh, I already added some shortcut here and if I edit a shortcut you can see the shortcut options here so you can select theme short uh, a theme for the slider we have total six theme here and uh, this is the main thing uh, you can select product type for the slider and uh, by default is it will show the latest products here and you can select the feature products uh, you can select the product from the categories if i select the product product categories uh, here we, you will see the all the categories you have you can select specific categories for this slider or you can exclude categories from the slider and this is the other settings you can set number of the number of products to show the slider you can enable or disable the autoplay you can set uh, slider uh, products order and we have also some advanced feature you can set slider uh, navigation or pagination number of products in different screen size and uh, in products image size in the slider so let me show you some other feature uh, you can set the product slider from the from product tag uh, as you can see already uh, we have product category uh, category select option and this is our product tag select option as as exact same as the category you can uh, include or exclude product tag for the uh, product slider the product slider will will be shown only only from this in these tags and also you can uh, set a product slider from specific products products you can select specific products from the slider so all you have to do click on this specific product uh, option and update this uh, short code after that you can see all the products you have you can select a specific products for, for your slider your slider will show only these products uh, another option is you can uh, select uh, a specific products sku so if you uh, uh, select sku here uh, and you can uh, see all your SKU in your commerce store all you have to do just uh, check any of these and we have another option here you can select uh, products slider products for on sale products you can uh, you can show your on sale products only in your slider by selecting this and we have the last one is specific product attributes so all you have to do just uh, set a product attribute here and update this shortcode after that you can see all the product attribute here and all you have to do just uh, select a attribute and uh, select its attributes value here so I'm going to check the attribute color attribute and its color attributes value here after that all you have to do update the shortcode and this is the important thing uh, when you create a shortcode after creating a shortcode all you have to do just click on this copy shortcut button after that you will uh, this shortcut will be copied to your clipboard 
and now you have to create a new page so I'm going to create a new page and just going to paste <coughs> sorry the paste the shortcut here and I'm going to set the full is full width template and click publish button if I view this page in new window you can see this is our uh, product products I don't have couple, uh, so many products uh, so I'm going to edit little bit the uh, short code here uh, I don't have the enough product in the that criteria that we set in our short code so I'm going to I'm going back to the product short code short code builder and this is the short code I just added I'm going to set it back to the latest product slider I'm going to update reload this page as you can see we have the latest product slider here uh, now if I change the theme I'm going to switch uh, switch the theme to the Jupiter theme and update the short code reload the page uh, this is our Jupiter theme the another thing uh, our uh, slider plugin is now support yit e-commerce quick view plugin and yit e-commerce uh, compare plugin and yit uh, wishlist plugin uh, so if uh, i already installed those plugin and if i click on the quick view icon uh, you can see the quick view it's coming from the yit e-commerce quick view plugin we if you install that plugin you will uh, this button will automatically come here and we have a wishlist plugin installed also the same thing if you install the wishlist plugin you, the wishlist, I, wishlist icon will be show in your slider so if I switch another theme called March just reload the page this is the March theme you can see nice effect we have some other theme if I select the fashion theme and update the short code in the fashion theme so this is it and if there is another option to add product slider in your page so if you're uh, if you are using a page builder visual composer you can uh, use our visual composer element for that and this is our visual composer element for this product slider if you if you set it here this is the short code all the short code that we just created here uh, this is our short code all the short codes this is the short code I just added and I'm going to set the set that and save and update the page. If I view the page in new window, you can see you can also set the product slider from your visual composer element. So this is it. Thanks, thank you very much for watching. And so if you don't have the pro version yet you go to, go ahead to the link description below you can get it from our site thank you very much